Population cannot read or write. Reading in this situation, not necessarily going far into school, but learning to read, even just through reading. A very big portion of those who can read or write, including those who have passed through schools at very high levels, don't read. After they had finished grappling their certificates, they totally abandoned the reading culture and focused on new experiences in their new lives. Reading is a culture. Some societies consider reading as a must-do while others don't bother. The society we refer to in this case descends from a nation through socio-cultural backgrounds to the level of families. Some were born in homes with ready reading cultures, while some found themselves building it. On the other hand, some other people have never seen the essence of reading because they never found books in the bookshelves, should in case they had one when they grew up. Some through schools, especially boarding schools, who had come with reading cultures from their homes and then took it to their own societies. In our quest to find out the interest that Cameroonians have in reading, the first we realize is that there are two sorts of materials to be read like in most societies. The daily news events that come up in newspapers and magazine publications and books that contain fiction and non-fiction of everything that one can imagine on earth. Here we discovered that there are two kinds of readers in Cameroon. Some who read newspapers and magazines for personal reasons and have never thought of buying a book out of their gen of reading. On the other hand, those who buy books have as culture to read all, including newspapers and magazines. Also, Cameroon with two inherited cultures from its colonial masters left two reading cultures and two different international languages that most of the books consumed are written with. We met veteran newspaper editor Buddy Adams, who has been on publications for close to three decades to get better answers to our worries, especially on issues concerning reading of newspapers and magazines in our country. If you want to know about readership in uh, uh, Anglophone Cameroon, uh, you will need to go back in history uh, to talk about um, readership in the then Southern Cameroons and uh, West Cameroon. Uh, knowing that we, we are under the uh, British colonial administration, uh, we had Things like the in in in, in history, like uh, the Onitsha market literature, which showed that many people under the British colonial administration, that is in Nigeria and in the southern Cameroons, they were used to reading. Um, uh, for that reason, you will see that uh, Victoria was a fleet street because you had uh, Cameroon Outlook, you had Cameroon Times, I mean all the newspapers and they used to sell. Uh, uh, but today, uh, the readership has died. Uh, you will see that more Francophones read than Anglophones and the reason being, I mean there are two reasons uh, to that, given that you have the numerical strength uh, or demographics, the Francophones are uh, uh, about eight times uh, or six, six or seven or eight times the number of Anglophones. And then um, 
when you see people come to the kiosks, newsstands, these days they read only headlines and then they go back to the Ambu houses and then they start uh, uh, debating on the issues, I mean the headlines without knowing what was the substance of the news uh, item they are debating on. Some people in their own little way have tried to promote the reading culture in our country. Though their efforts are limited just to their fear of influence, on the society they live in, the books they sell have traveled to communities. Goddy Bless started hawking books here in the early 90s. He was the first to have joined this business, but as time passed by and many nursed the appetite to read, others joined in the selling of books here at the My 17 Boya Park. Godi Blaze, uh, the bookseller, as everybody call me. I came into this activity some 15 years ago when the, during the outbreak of devaluation in this country. First of all, I was selling drugs, but when I realized I was not good uh, because the government and the pharmacy and the Ministry of Health was fighting illegal drug sales. I saw that it was good for me to do something that would be good for Cameroonians and the world at large. And that is how I came into selling our books. Reading our books in the country is a problem. It's really a problem in the sense that we are not well cultured. But I want to thank, I want to thank my customers, people who have shown up because some some group of people, people who don't want to read, they will tell you Cameroonians don't read. But I want to remind them that Cameroonians read. Whosoever say that Cameroonians don't read should join the number of readers so that we will have a good percentage of readers. Cameroonians read because the few that come to buy from me, they buy. And when I'm not around, they really cry for not seeing me around, meaning that there are readers in Cameroon. So we are, I, I would like to invite other people to join uh, the reading club so that reading will be our culture and we want to be the first even in the world in terms of reading. I'm selling books here in my 17 for almost 15 years today. So this, no, this is novels. Uh, it's from America. So I like to introduce people to know about novels, mostly for travelers. They should read novels and know about novels, the importance of novels. Not only reading school books, reading different kinds of books to, to have their good knowledge. Cameroonia, they don't have the culture of reading. So see this novel. This novel is only 500 francs. But in America, it's two, five, three thousand francs. But we bring down here for 500 francs to encourage people to read. And the Cameroonia, they don't have the culture of reading. They only like of drinking of beer. So we have, have bring down the price for 500 francs for, the, for one caste. So that if you can drink five caste, you drink, buy only one novel, you read it. A handful of Cameroonians have cultivated the culture of reading. Some learn to read by reading constantly, some for the quest of knowledge, and others to beat the boredom in idleness. I 
I like uh, novels because at the time when I came to Motor Park, if I, if I don't have any way to go, I will be reading my novels. So novel is very good for a person to read because when you read, you get some talents from those books and you know more better than what you stay without reading those novels. I read daily, daily, and I spend about close to four, five hours a day reading. I love reading. I read, even when I'm watching TV. And I'm particularly interested in economic articles. I just like to be updated with any new information. You know, nowadays, anybody can be a journalist. I usually share information with radio journalists and also mostly with young people out there. Especially students. I'm a teacher myself. I also participate in some radio programs and I like debating on issues concerning Cameroon. Naturally, it's even that me pose beaucoup plus à à venir partager, écouter aussi et partager. A chunk more, even those who have the means to buy books and have learned to read, don't read. There are two reasons that Cameroonians give for not reading, especially newspapers. One, not having money to buy. Two, not trusting what is written by journalists. How would you expect a reader to come back to a newspaper when it carries a front page uh, uh, headline that Inoni, former Prime Minister Inoni, Chief Inoni, escaped to uh, Europe? And two or three days after, the Prime Minister is sitting at the grandstand with the President, uh, President Bia, when he came visiting in the Northwest Province in Bamenda. How would you expect somebody who saw the headline or read that kind of headline and then saw Chivenoni sitting there, Inoni sitting there with the president to come back to that newspaper? Unfortunately, people believe more in mercenary journalism. I mean, some people like reading. We, uh, at the Post, we decide to investigate our stories. We, we don't believe in this thing of publishing lists. Um, we, we, we take our time, uh, analyze the situation, and we control information uh, the way we are supposed to. I mean, it is our responsibility to give to the readers what they really, uh, what will inform, educate, and entertain them. But the rest of the newspapers, they practice mercenary journalism where somebody pays one, uh, 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 one journalist or the other to go and write and tarnish the image of a political figure or some personality. J'ai lu les journaux, bah, même comme les journaux ne, ne contiennent rien de bon. Les journaux, aujourd'hui au Cameroun, je suis content de vous dire que les journaux ne donnent pas de bonnes informations. Ils ont toujours des captivating headlines, mais leur contenu est toujours empty. Nous juste lisons, mais nous ne sommes pas toujours satisfaits avec le matériel. Nous ne sommes pas toujours bien. La contenance n'est pas toujours bien, 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 bien mûre, en quelque sorte. Some people prefer to read headlines by newspaper kiosk, which are most of the times very exaggerative, and then build a hyperbole through rumors to spread to those who can read. Most of the people who come here are people who just come and read the headlines and make a lot of noise, disturb places. We have just few people who come and buy.
and I thank God for the people that are coming and I know that by the grace of God with time Cameroonians who I mean will see the necessity of reading which is very important in our life uh, some people say that news uh, uh, um, topics or news uh, stories are exaggerated uh, there is a lot of exaggeration I just gave you the example of uh, somebody carrying a banner headline saying that uh, a former PM escaped meanwhile the former PM is in the country he didn't make any effort to get go to him at the level of the post we try to talk to both par or all parties involved in uh, an issue before we take it to the marketplace the fact is that as years pass by Cameroon is losing many readers. The reading culture, especially in the English part of Cameroon, is dying daily. Some writers, especially of the new generation status, have used up the liberalization of the media in the 90s to write trash. And many people don't still have that much trust for newspapers and magazines. There are some papers that, in fact, their articles are not really challenging compared to the other one. There are some journalists who just came into the field because uh, they, they just came just to make some profit without thinking of the importance of what they want to pass outside. So there are some journalists, uh, one, uh, pe 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 a person can just buy them to write an article to just blaspheme and in fact that goes a long way to destroy their paper because people will not place much attachment to that. But there are some other papers which are very objective. When people come there, they would like to have that paper to read them. And actually, there are great numbers of some uh, papers which I'm having in my place here. Also, with the coming of the television and the internet, some people who had just wanted to read now watch stories through big pictures and commentaries. Some still read, but don't buy books anymore because of the reading information found online. Before, we used to sell, but with the coming of the internet, things have changed. Cameroonians don't buy books anymore. They prefer to go to the internet. Reading is very important to human beings with the challenges that we face daily. Many people have found solutions to many problems on earth through just reading. Reading books of authors that they will never meet in their lifetime. Books have changed people's lives for the better. People have made new professions, jobs and many new advantages in life just through the habit of reading. I really wish for people to come and read the newspaper because it's very important in our life. It brightens our understanding. It exposes us to the other world. You see, a newspaper selling in Cameroon is a bit tedious because uh, most of the uh, Cameroonians uh, are not really, uh, in fact, placing attachment in reading. And actually, it's not a good attitude. Because one thing I came to realize in life that leaders are readers, and readers are leaders. If you want to lead in your generation, you must read. And when you read, you must lead. So people are running away from newspaper because I don't know if it's because of their financial status or what. Our writers and researchers live in misery today. They don't hold the position that they are supposed to have in the society because most of what they write stays in their cupboards. Even those who buy impose their own prices to what they have written. It's even worse for the journalists 
who has a big name and a face in the society. But society hardly ever pays him for his research and investigations that he publishes. Newspapers don't depend on sales. You know that elsewhere, people start booking you know, news pages even one month before the day of publication. But uh, here in the country, we have to go on bended knees, asking advertisers to uh, place their, their, their adverts in our papers. Uh, uh, it, is, it is actually unheard of that uh, somebody will need to maybe carry what uh, the French will uh, call a pot of wine uh, to some advertiser to give him an advert when he's doing service to that person. So we, we depend uh, solely on adverts. If it were sales, no newspaper uh, thrives on sales. We depend more on adverts. And well, sometimes they trickle in. Uh, sometimes we have a silly, what you may call a silly season, or the god of advertising stops smiling on us, and we go for about a month. And a month you will be talking about having a, uh, a month will have about nine editions, so nine issues of the newspaper. And uh, we go for a month. How do we pay the, the, the workers? How do I earn my own salary? I need something to put on the table, my, my children's uh, dining table. But if uh, the, you depend on sales, it cannot even run the office. I mean, sales alone can, uh, loan cannot run the office our, and our bureaus. Uh, we used to sell about 40,000 copies of uh, uh, the uh, Cameroon Post at the time. I was working for Cameroon Post. We used to sell about 40,000 copies in the Northwest alone. But today you can hardly sell uh, 5,000 to 10,000, uh, given that we are the leading newspaper in the country. I mean, the Post, we are the leading newspaper in the country. Uh, we hardly sell 10,000 copies uh, uh, per edition or per issue, because we have two issues in a week. Uh, that's the Monday edition and the Friday, the weekend edition. But we hardly sell up to 5,000. All is not gone yet. Our reading culture could still become fashionable. Our writers and publishers could still be scrutinized. Cameroonian uh, news writers uh, need to do a lot of work. It is like with the schools today uh, in the West, where a student, uh, a teacher cannot come and say that this, this child does not learn or this child is not good. It is the responsibility of the teacher to, to, to make the child to study and pass, know and pass, or be promoted. It is the responsibility of journalists today, the news writers, to actually carry out investigation, do their research, uh, cross-check their facts and figures before carrying the story to the marketplace. If we continue saying that readers don't read, how are we making them to read? We need a richer package today have material that is worth reading that can educate people can inform people can entertain them so it is why our responsibility to make those Cameroonians or the Anglophones who are not reading today to read we need to do more we need to go down and investigate dig and dig deeper get the, 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 the facts the crocs of each issue before we go public and I think we need to convince readers to give us their 400 francs as of now per a copy of uh, our paper. There are a lot of uh, students who have come here, uh, we host them on internship, uh, and they spend their time on the new media, not using it uh, to gain uh, some professional prowess, but using it for their entertainment. You see them uh, chatting, you see them Facebooking, as a journalist, you must listen to other radio stations, you must watch other TV stations, you must read other newspapers, because uh, we say that if you stop reading, you should stop writing. You cannot stop reading and then you want to write. A journalist must, I mean, have an alert, an open mind, because you don't know where the pin may fall, and you follow that pin, and that is just, I mean, the, 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 a very big story blows out of that. We have an advantage. Yes, bilingualism. We have decided to use till today just the negative of our blend. We can read books in two international languages, in English and in French. 
read one article today you may just have tickled the reading culture into you Two can see.